Well, good morning, everyone. I want to, of course, uh, begin by uh, thanking all of you for being here uh, with us this morning. It is always a, um, a very solemn day, but also a day that we get, get an opportunity to reflect in our city about the importance of heroism and sacrifice and a chance to honor uh, some very brave people. Uh, since the 9-11 attacks now uh, 17 years ago, which is um, pretty amazing to think that this was 17 years ago, uh, our city has um, honored and remembered uh, the, the, the events that happened that day um, in a very simple way. And it's been just to gather, to put some wreaths down, uh, and to really honor the men and women uh, that lost their lives, but also our own first responders in our own city, and to thank them, of course, for their uh, continued service. And so I want to thank you for year after year uh, coming out and gathering um, and supporting the work that these men and women do, but most importantly, remembering those uh, that were lost. I know that we have a lot of our leadership that's here, and I want to thank them for always being here. I know our um, everyone from our city prosecutor and city auditor and our members of our city council, I want to thank you all for always being here, our city attorney and so many others. Uh, I especially want to thank, of course, our lieutenant governor, uh, Gavin Newsom, who has also joined us this morning, and I want to thank him for being here as well. This morning is an opportunity for us to reflect on what happened uh, so many years ago. Uh, we know that uh, almost 3,000 people lost their lives. Over 6,000 people were injured in some way because of the effects of the terrorist attacks. And there were tens of billions of dollars worth of damage to infrastructure and our national economy. But we also know that since those moments, there has been an opportunity for us as a country to reflect. Uh, we have seen a lot of change. But even after all this time of often debate um, and wondering about what the, where the future is for our country when it comes to the reaction to those events, uh, we stand united always to remember and support the families, those that have lost people, those that were injured, and certainly those that fight for our freedoms every single day. I want to first begin on behalf of the city to thank all of the men and women that are in uniform and that are fighting for our country and representing our country every single day. I know there are also a lot of men and women in our fire and police department that are here today that also served in our armed forces and I want to thank them very much for their service. We also, of course, want to thank, absolutely, thank you very much. Let's give them a, a round of applause. We also want to thank uh, our first responders, the first responders that uh, lost their lives, the first responders that were sprung to action because of the events. And as you're probably all aware, uh, many, um, many people in Long Beach gathered to help uh, so many years ago when that tragedy occurred, including members of our fire and police departments who went out and helped provide additional service and support uh, to the incredible tragedy that happened at that time. And so to those first responders across the country that assisted that day, and of course those that are here that also assisted but that do the work every single day, we honor and remember you as well. And I also want to take a moment uh, to thank the men and women of our police and fire departments, as well as other first responders that are here this morning. Uh, you all are what keep our community safe. You know I tell you this all the time, but we're so honored and proud that all of the, both the, our departments, I believe, are the best departments in the country, and we love and support you. We know it's sometimes difficult to do public safety work, but we wanna thank you for always running towards danger and supporting us and supporting our community. And so a round of applause for our amazing men and women of our police and fire departments. Thank you. And before we take a moment to reflect uh, uh, here uh, for 9-11, I also want to just mention um, a tragedy that occurred to us uh, earlier. As, as you all know, we typically host this, uh, this ceremony, this remembrance, um, at our police and fire memorial, which is um, just behind us right now, currently, as you know, under construction. 
And for over the last 15, 16 years that we've done this event, uh, we have this event um, at this memorial where we honor those that have fallen within the ranks of our police and fire department. Uh, we obviously can't do the, the, this uh, remembrance there today because of the construction of the Civic Center. Um, but at, when we gather again next year to do this event, we also know that there will be an additional person, um, a hero in our community that will be added to that memorial. Um, earlier this year, we lost Captain David Arosa, uh, a, an incredible member of our community and of the Long Beach Fire Department. And so as we take this moment of silence to remember all of the men and women that bravely lost their lives, the heroes, the first responders, let's also remember Captain David Arosa's commitment to our community and his amazing heroism uh, on that tragic day that just recently happened. And so you know that we're with you to the entire member, all the members of our fire department. And with that, to our two chiefs and to the members of the community, I wanna thank you for being here. Let's go ahead and just take um, a minute to uh, reflect and think about all the lives lost and all those that are still here today uh, advocating for us as a, as a country and community. A moment of reflection, please. Thank you all very much for, uh, for that moment of reflection. Um, at this time, as we always do, we're going to have an opportunity. Our, our firefighters and police are here. Uh, we will just gather. Please uh, thank them for their, for their incredible work and service. Let's give them another big round of applause. And I, and I want to thank you all again. I want to thank our Lieutenant Governor as well for, uh, for being here. And uh, please stop by and say hello to our, our firefighters and our police officers. And thank you to, of course, um, our Station One here for hosting us today. And I look forward to seeing everybody again back at our fire and police memorial uh, next year. Thank you very much for being here.